what we're going to do today is to show you how to put the transmission setbacks into a 58 and newer unit, 58 and up. We've pulled our transmission out, taken our chain guards off, taken our clutch covers off, uh, and clutch arms on the other side. So now we have a transmission out. One of the things that I want to show you to do here is we're going to take the original brake off and put our new brake on, which sets with this bolt, and double nut it on here. We use the top hole, and then we, we coat all of our threads with the anaerobic sealer. And at the same time, we're going to take a grinder, and we're going to cut the bottom of this away till we've cut away about half of that nut. And that will allow us to adjust the transmission tighter back to the starter and get the belt on. Okay. This is our battery and battery box assembly. It's already assembled and painted. Uh, we suggest you pre-fit everything and then take it back apart and repaint it. There's a rubber mat underneath of this battery and the battery goes on. Now, we want a 5 16 hole, 3 8 of an inch down, in the frame right here can you and uh, on each frame on the one under the engine and the one back here and sometimes that requires dropping the back wheel out and drill it we've already pre-drilled these holes they're done so uh, we're going to hang this transmission the battery back up in here before we set the transmission in it just makes it easier to see No, right. Selling all the mounts to this side of the battery box. Our fuse holder. I've got this kind of jammed up in there backwards. We have to have a battery charge clip on this one. So if our bike sets a long time, we can just snap our little charger on it. We're going to get our starter nut right here put on. Your front, front bolt on the solenoid will be the starter wire. Your next wire to get on is, is your little purple wire that uh, trips your solenoid when you throw voltage to it. Goes on a small lug on the side of the nut. Your fuse wire goes onto the same as your battery lug on the opposite side of the solenoid. We're going to poke that right down in there so that's out of the way. And the battery we're going to save and hook up last so we don't have current here until we get done. Okay, I think our next move is this is our setback bracket. It has a notch on the bottom side. This sets on the, on the transmission as such. And you put your spacer on the inside. Now what we do is we bolt these spacers and hit them with the welder. Just tack them a little bit so we don't have to fight where they're at. It's not a have to thing. You can bolt them on, not weld them. It just makes life easier in the city. Now this spring on your transmission, on this particular model, we got a eyelet here to go on our clutch rod. On your instructions, it'll show to drill the clutch rod, and you'll have a diagram for that. And actually straighten this spring out here and hook it in the clutch rod, and that will cause this brake to work and push off when it goes. Ready? Yeah. We have a tab on the frame right here. Can you see that tab? A tab. We normally do not reuse that tab to tighten the belt with on transmission. We go back and put a rod up front and push off of the starter bracket.
Okay. We've got our first bracket tightened up on both sides. Now we're going to, the transmission's tight. Now we can tighten the other. Hold that branch over there. Plant that 5 8. <clears throat> That pretty well completes the transmission set back in. Now we're ready to put in the, the belt or the clutch arms from the other side. Let me get the cutter key back in this little arrangement. Got the clutch arm reinstalled. You're probably ready to slip your chain on, would be the easiest time to put that back on. You don't need to. We got your transmission in, and we got clearance for your belt guard and pulley. If you need more clearance, you have to spring this belt guard up and make it arch just a little bit to clear, that, that, clear this pulley. I'll take care of that. We got a ground water hook up here in a little bit. We wind up with not enough clearance for the pulley and the fender on a 58 system. You put a, you loosen the fender here, loosen it up underneath here on the uh, luggage rack. Take this bolt out, tip the fender forward, put a spacer in it right here. Lock everything back down and that's what this one's had done to it. And we got a gear shift. We need to get in place and get it going. And we're going to tighten that up right there with our, with our new ball joint that comes in your kit. Then you got a, this is your wiring harness that goes to your switch. We got a loose tie around the gear shift rod to keep that in place and another tie around that on this blower housing bracket right here. We got to keep that out of that rotating flywheel. We're going to tighten this up and uh, put our uh, hook up our cables, and we should be pretty much ready.